What's up guys? So some of you may know that there's been a little issue brewing between me and the last.i over the past couple days in some of my videos in the comment section and it actually has turned into him posting a video today where you see the thumbnail and the title right there accusing me of slander and lies. He goes ahead and touches on one specific point and then goes on to give his opinion on how he thinks I'm doing this because I'm jealous. I'm doing it for views and attention. I'm going to go ahead and show you in numerous circumstances that that is not the case. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you my side of the situation as well as his side from his own words in his video and comments on my videos over the past couple days. And unfortunately in this video, I'm also going to go ahead and address toward the end somebody that's a sub to the last that I who recently subbed to me when I started doing these tournaments and posted a video asking for players to join me on Xbox ended up posting in the comments that somehow I'm rigging my showdown shootout tournament so I can predict the winners so I can avoid giving away gift cards. He also mentioned something about racism and then goes on to say, although Goose Gaming adamantly is against racism, I don't know why he even brought that in. I think that's just to go ahead and try and ruin my reputation. And then there was also somebody who posted on my comment, I'm in my video, uh, the same type of comment that I rigged my tournaments. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that's not true. Hopefully you guys can go ahead and keep an open mind, watch his video, listen to what I got to say, watch the words on the screen and form your own conclusion. So I'm actually glad I waited as long as I did because recently he ended up posting a comment when somebody else was kind of warning me that he was trashing me and I replied back to them, it's okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a reply video to him. Basically trying to threaten me for slander to try and scare me from doing this video, which obviously isn't going to work. I replied back saying I'm going to do the video, you can watch it, and then you can go ahead and take whatever kind of action you want from there. I think he didn't want me to put this video out because you will see coming up, and I'm going to start doing this now by putting his words up on the screen and explaining the whole entire story. He didn't want this to come out because it's not going to make him look like the angel that he put on the title of his video. So as far as slander, yes, I did block Deadeye from my channel. This was after numerous comments of us going back and forth, talking about the same things, when I would go ahead and bring up facts based on his own words to him, and he did not want to hear it. He kept trying to play the victim, saying that I was twisting his own words when you will see these words pop up on the screen, and you can go ahead and decide for yourself. Now, it started to be to a point where he kept just talking in circles, and I was like, you know what, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. There's no point. He's a grown man. If he can't have an actual conversation with me, then there's no point in having him there anymore. So by doing that, I ended up posting a comment on my video because I noticed that the comments were deleted when I woke up this morning. Now, yesterday when I blocked him, I refreshed the page, his comments were still there. I ended up messing around on Red Dead with my friends for like five, six, seven hours. I went back and his comments were still there. So not until this morning do those comments get deleted, whether it was YouTube's policy and how long it takes or if he did it in fact himself. He does have a history of deleting his comments on my videos. I will talk about that in a little bit coming up. So who knows exactly what happened? All I know is six, seven, eight hours after I blocked him, those comments were still on my channel. So next, we're going to go ahead and get into how this really all started. This was a couple of days ago in a daily challenge video. I ended up saying that I was predicting that Burdock Root was going to be the herb for the next day. I also went in the comment section to, I think it was uh, Horizon Rover. When he commented something about it, I said, hey, I have a feeling that raccoons are also going to be on the list. So in this comment right here, you see it says, great video. If you were correct, congrats on figuring out the pattern. Deadeye ended up replying on that comment to one of my viewers and subs saying, he didn't figure out the pattern. It's been known since March 17th from another YouTuber. I'm not going to go ahead and mention his name because he doesn't need to be dragged into it. So he was assuming that he knew how I figured out that the next day was going to be a certain herb and also raccoons popping up on the list. So he took it upon himself to go ahead and jump the gun and leave that comment. I replied back with him and that's basically where this all started. And then in the next day's video, I kind of addressed him leaving that comment. And that's the clip that you hear toward the end of his video. If you want to go ahead and watch it, go ahead and listen for yourself. But here in this comment, you can see in the third sentence, this is him addressing what I said in that video. He says, you never said they were alphabetical and even deny that that's what you meant. So if that's the case, Deadeye, why would you go ahead and jump into my comment section and try to discredit my theory on why I knew Burdock Root was going to be there? And then I even took it a step further and said that raccoons were going to be on that list as well. And when Burdock Root appeared, guess what? Raccoons were on the list as well, so it proves that it had nothing to do with alphabetical order because the animals have nothing to do with herbs being in alphabetical order. I just went back on my videos, I looked at a pattern, saw the burdock root video the very next day with raccoons, and I went ahead and made that guess.
So ironically, after watching my video, even though he states that he's known that herbs come out in alphabetical order since back in March, he's never released any kind of video saying tomorrow's daily challenge is going to be this. But he did two hours after watching my video. So I was kind of curious as to how convenient that was that he would watch my video, comment to somebody else to kind of discredit the fact that the next day I was going to release information on why I knew burdock root and raccoons were going to be there. But yet he goes ahead and releases two videos talking about predicting a pattern with herbs. I found that shady and that's why I called him out in the beginning part of the next daily challenge video. So I hope you've watched this video long enough because this is where it gets really interesting. I just had to set up the backdrop and the history of what led to this. So you see right here, this is the third daily challenge video that I did. It says great location. Now, I was the first one to go ahead and cover daily challenge videos. I waited until 7 to 10 days after they came out. I noticed that nobody else on YouTube was doing them. If I had noticed that other people were doing them, I would have gone ahead and let them have it. I don't like copying other people's idea. That's not what my channel's about. My channel's about helping people out. I don't care about subs and views. If they come, that's great. I never sit there and ask for subs. But I specifically put this in here because this sets up the next set of comments from Deadeye. So on my third video, he posts great location. Okay, so this shows that he obviously knows that I was covering daily challenge videos. But you're going to see in this next comment coming up, he's trying to make people believe that he didn't. Because when going back and forth with him, I ended up throwing in a comment like, hey, you're welcome for the idea to do daily challenge videos. And he got all bent out of shape. And you can kind of see it right here talking about my ego is unbelievable. You think you gave me the idea to do daily challenges. I don't even know if I knew about your channel back then. You think you gave the idea to a dozen of content creators? Yes, I do. Whether they had the idea themselves, nobody posted it. They had plenty of time. Like I said, I waited seven to 10 days. So by seeing me actually be the first one to post them, it gave them the idea to go ahead and start covering daily challenge videos by uploading them. And that includes yourself, Deadeye, because you did comment on the third challenge video that I did. But you're trying to deny here saying, I don't even think I knew about your channel. Obviously you did because you commented on it and you commented on other videos, but you ended up deleting those. So when I told him to go back and look on the third day's challenge video that his comment is still there, although he deleted other ones, he forgot to delete that one. This is what his reply is. He's trying to say that I'm twisting his words around when all I'm doing is using his own words. And then by using his own words against him, this is where he starts to play the victim. I didn't say that I didn't know about your channel. I said, I don't know if I knew about your channel, which is to say I cannot remember, which is the most honest I could have been. Well, we're going to go ahead and show in the next couple comments as well. In addition to that comment that he left on the video on the third day, that he knew damn well that I was covering these challenge videos. He just doesn't want to admit it because he doesn't want people to think that he got the idea or he copied the idea from me. And that's clear to see. And here we are with another reply after that last one. So what if I watched slash commented on your videos? Ever occur to you that I already had the idea to do my own videos, but I didn't know good locations and didn't want to waste anyone's time with shitty content. And maybe I was watching your videos because I myself was curious about where to go on those days. So you basically are now admitting that you were watching them in the beginning, even though you just tried to say you didn't know about my channel to make it seem like you never took the idea from me. When you commented on the third day and you were watching because you didn't have your own idea on where to go, Deadeye, that's why I ended up calling you out. And that's why you got so defensive. And that's why after a while I ended up blocking you on my channel. It's because I couldn't deal with you keep going back and forth like this. You kept being deceitful, you kept contradicting your own statements to try to make me feel like I have such a big ego for giving you the idea when you didn't even know where to go and you were watching my videos to get ideas and locations on where to complete your challenges, Deadeye. That's why I had, to, I had to go ahead and block you. I couldn't keep running around back and forth dealing with this with you. You're a grown man. Just admit the fact that you got the idea from me. Maybe you thought of the idea, but you were in no position to even do them because you didn't even know the locations. That's why you're watching my video. Just admit that yeah, you thought it was a good idea to go ahead and get views for yourself. And by watching me put it out there first, that's what actually got you to start uploading them a couple days later when you already said you didn't know the location. And that's why in quote in your words, you didn't want to put shitty content out there. But a couple days after you started commenting on my videos, all of a sudden you were a guru on where to go. I find that pretty funny. This part right here, read this comment. He's basically talking about my videos not being usable after the challenge comes out, which I don't really care. I put all the challenges for herbs and animals in the same video to make it as convenient as possible for everybody who wants to go ahead and get help. I don't go ahead and upload four specific videos on 
one for the herb, one for the animal, one on how to do a feud, and then also another one that's just like a screenshot of the daily challenges. Just that daily challenge video that you post out with the seven of them shows that your intention is just to get views. You can cover that in any of the other videos that you post about herbs or animals. So how dare you question me about using you to get exposure, views, and that I'm jealous of your channel. If you notice with me, I list them all in the same video. Again, I could go ahead and separate them like you do and many other people do if I was interested solely in views. I could give two shits about the views, man. I care about helping people. So for you to go ahead and say that I'm using you, by the way, I didn't put your name in the title of any of those videos. They were just in the comment, and I mentioned you at the beginning. So how am I using you to get views? People were already watching those videos to watch them to find out locations. It's not like they were going to click on it because, oh, he mentioned The Last Dead Eye. So you really got some nerve, to be honest with you, to think that I'm jealous of your channel, or that I'm trying to use this for exposure or views. It's absolutely ridiculous. You have two videos on your channel with over 10,000 views, one with 15 and one with Fred about 10. What am I jealous of? I'm going to show you a list here. Yeah, I've had my channel longer than you, but more than half of my subs came from GTA and Fortnite. I probably only have about 1,500 to 1,600 Red Dead subs since I started. So why would I be jealous of you? And look, those are a mix of games, but look at the Red Dead ones. I have plenty with more views than your highest views on your channel. I have views with 14, 15, 10,000. You have one with 15 and one with 10. So again, how dare you think that I'm jealous of your channel? And you went ahead and posted, oh, he's struggling. I could take a screenshot of some of your videos right there. 418 views, another one with 400 views. It's ironic that you went ahead and picked those specific ones. And I do videos that are giveaway videos and mine are legit. And they don't get that many views. But you know what? I don't really care because every dime I earn on my channel goes back to help people. Just like my challenge videos, it's all about helping people. I don't separate them to get views. So last thing I want to go ahead and talk about was the comment left by this guy right here talking about my challenges being rigged. I'm in Europe, okay? My tournaments start at 3 a.m. my time. When I go into showdown in Europe, there's not many people there. I've had up to 20 people try to compete in my tournaments. So there's no other way for me to go ahead and get everybody in unless I play in Europe. He suggested that a couple of players were in Europe and the UK and they were lagging and I specifically picked them so they would win so I didn't have to give them gift cards or I could make them win, whatever his reason was. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that these people that you see popping up, Achilles, I just, look at the days that they added me. Just recently, these guys aren't handpicked friends that I'm picking to win gift cards. That's a ridiculous statement. I just won the first two tournaments and got $40 worth of gift cards. Achilles just won this past one and got $50. I gave out $50 through PayPal to General Sukun's winner, and then the other YouTube, I'm not going to go ahead and drag in this, $50. You see that right here. This is my history from the past couple weeks from the tournaments. So if you're suggesting that they're rigged or I'm not paying out, who the hell is paying out these prizes? Because somebody's buying these off of Amazon. So I think it's ridiculous, man, for you to go ahead and try and attack my tournaments when I'm one of the only people out there that does this. My channel makes ne next to nothing, and I donate every dime back to everybody. So I hope this video has answered any kind of questions you have about me and this situation with Deadeye, as well as my gift cards, my tournaments, anything like that. I think the situation is absolutely ridiculous. Somebody should have been a man and just accepted the fact that he was wrong in the beginning. Thanks for watching. See you next time.